Good morning, friends. We are starting to talk about farms. I love farms. Do you remember at the beginning of the year when we went to Fog Willow Farms? Yes? Do you remember seeing sheep and pigs? And we even saw rabbits and hens that were laying eggs. Do you remember all those wonderful things? Yeah. All right, well, I am missing this time of year, making our whole classroom into a big farm and all the fun projects. So today we are going to read a story called Ping Pong Pig, funny, by Carolyn Jane Church. This is a fiction story. It is a, a fantasy story. We're gonna read this story together. And I also want you to get out your green book. Looks, looks just like this. Just a green book inside our blank pages. I would have loved line pages, but I didn't have time to get them ready for you. I wasn't able to go make copies, so we have our blank pages. So you're going to need that book and your listening ears. Are you ready? Okay. All right. The story is called Ping Pong Pig by Carolyn Jane Church. And this is our cover. There's our spine. has a little bit of information. It's really teeny tiny. Can you see it? It's so teeny, the writing. And then the back cover, definitely taking place on a farm. Look at all those farm animals. All right, let's see. Look at that. Do pigs fly? I don't think so. Looks like he's flying. I'm not sure. There's our title page. Okay, here we go. Are you crisscross? Yes. Do you have your looking eyes? Do you have your listening ears? Are your voices quiet? And is your body still? Good, here we go, ping pong pig. Apple Tree Farm was a very busy place. Every day the animals would rush this way and that doing their daily chores. All the animals worked very hard indeed. All, that is, except for one. Ping Pong Pig was far too busy doing his own thing. He spent all of his time trying to fly. He leaped over logs, wheelbarrows, and barrels trying to jump higher and higher. One day I will be able to fly, he told the other animals. Pigs can't fly, Ping Pong, they sighed. <sighs> But Ping Pong never stopped jumping and leaping. He managed to ruin the apples, spoil the new paint on the barn, free the bees, and knock over all the hay. The other animals decided that something had to be done. They gathered together for a meeting in the barn. Ping Pong wondered what was going on. The animals stayed in the barn all morning. They were obviously very, very busy. At last, the barn door swung open and the animals came out. Ping Pong looked over in amazement. We've made you this trampoline, they said. Now take it to a quiet corner of the field and let us get on with our work. They just wanted ping pong to get out of there. See ping pong? Yeah. Ping pong climbed aboard the trampoline. He jumped and he bounced and he bounced and he jumped. Whee! I can fly, he squealed. But pigs can't fly. Ping pong, the animals sighed as they went on about their work. Ping pong pig was having the best time ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, goofy girl. But then he stopped to think a little. It was so kind of my friends to make me this present. Perhaps I should help out a little more as a way of saying thank you. So he decided to put his trampoline to better use. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do. He's thinking of ways to be kind to his friends now. He picked the apples, he caught the bees, he repainted the barn, 
and he carefully stacked the hay. Look at that. He's doing all those chores and being helpful all while still bouncing. Much to his surprise, Ping Pong rather enjoyed helping out and his friends were delighted. No more trouble from Ping Pong Pig, they all said, until something caught their eye. High at the top of the old apple tree, they noticed something rustling around. And that was Ping Pong. You think? It's your prediction? It was Ping Pong Pig! Look, shouted Ping Pong as he leapt to the branches. Pigs can fly! No, Ping Pong, cried the animals. Look at that. That is a crazy illustration. Pigs can fly. But it was too late. Splash! Look at that. Ping Pong landed in the middle of the pond. Wow! Fish can fly too, he giggled. Ping Pong, that silly Ping Pong pig. Huh. All right. That was the story of Ping Pong Pig. All right. Do you have your green book? Good. Okay. You will go down here, please. I need my students to focus so I don't need to be in silly in the background. I'm going to turn this a little bit so we can see. All right. So if you have a black marker or a pen, let's go ahead and just make our cover. All right. Let's so we're going to turn it. The spine is at the top, and we're going to write my farm book. Okay, we're starting with MY. My capitals, it's a title. Farm book. By, that's called a colon, it's two dots, and you're going to write your name, okay? Don't write my name, write your name. Mama, is that okay if I can read this book? Absolutely. I my Farm Book by Mrs. Miramontes. If this was Anaya's book, it would say My Farm Book by Inaya, right? Okay. All right, so first page. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it back. Whoops, let's see here, get it right. Here we go. Okay, we are gonna do a quick directed draw. Now, if we were in our classroom, I would we would make this out of pink paper, but since we are not in our classroom, we are gonna have to do it this way. I'm gonna get closer. Okay, perfect, that's good. Here we go. Okay, so we are gonna make a pig and we're gonna label a pig. So. I want you to pay attention to my paper. I want you to pay attention to where I start my shapes and how big of a space it takes up on my paper, okay? So we're gonna start with an oval. Pen, you be sure you're using a pencil, okay? There's an oval. So it almost takes up the whole page, right? Okay, let's make some feet. I'm gonna do a line like that. Okay. You can kind of go back and erase. Remember, direct to draw so we just keep on. I have an oval for his body. I have one leg, two leg. I'm going to go up here and make two more legs over here. Can you see? I hope everything's okay. This is belly. There's a leg, and then we're going to do one leg over here, and then he's got his, so one, two, three, four, Nina, shh, shh. one, two, three, four legs, we have a body. This is his back, so we're going to make his tail here. You know, um, pigs have a little squirrely tail, so we'll just go like this. That's my tail. He's cute. I think he's cute. All right. So we have a tail. We have a body. We have one, two, three, four legs. We're going to go ahead and make a face over here. So it's a circle shape. And then we can just go back in and erase that one. Pigs have 
uh, two ears, just like we do. Here's our little pointy. Okay, yeah, that might be a little too pointy. Remember, if you make a mistake, just fix it, cross it out, or go back in. Pigs have two eyes. Go ahead and color in those eyes like that. Mom, and we need a snout. Everyone has two eyes. Easy. And go ahead and let's just make a happy face just for fun. How's that? <laughs> Cute little piggy, huh? All right. So here we go. You ready for labeling? Yeah? Okay. All right. What is this again? Tail. So remember, when we label, we write clearly and we make an arrow. Okay. And these are legs. Legs. You can draw two arrows there. Okay, one, two arrows, perfect. Down here, pigs have hooves. Say hooves. Good. Hooves are like their shoes, right? All right, this is called a snout. Say snout, and it kind of sticks out a little bit on their face. So I'm gonna put my arrow there and I'm gonna write snout. Snout. Yeah snout. This we're just going to write here. It's going to be body. Body. Okay. How many ears do they have? Yep. Two. Yep. Ears. There we go. I know I'm going fast, but you can always pause the video, so don't feel too rushed, okay? And how many eyes do they have? Yep. I can write that right here and put a little arrow. Perfect. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, we could do mouth too, let's do mouth. Mouth. Okay, all right, so this is the beginning of our pig project. So we are definitely gonna need to do a little bit of coloring here. What color are pigs? Like pink. They can be pink, they can also be brown and white and they can be black even. So their hooves are gonna be darker. So go ahead and color their hooves darker. And you know how I usually like to outline things because it makes it stand out and just makes the picture a little more detailed and we're always working on details, huh? So I'm just outlining in black. You're gonna color the pink, sure. Why don't you? Uh, let's see here. I got some light pink because pigs, because I usually see light pink on pigs. That's what you usually see. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know they could be brown. They can. Oh. Yep. Cats can be brown. I'm just tracing over everything. Okay. So when you color, try not to color too dark because you don't want to um, color on top of your labeling because that's hard work to do that good labeling. That's good detail. And can they see me color? Yeah, can you go ahead? Can you swish in? Yeah. All right. Let's see, let's go like this. So Nina has been practicing. She just turned five, so she's not quite in kindergarten yet, but she is a very good colorer. She loves to color and stay in the lines. She's a good helper girl. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. I'm happy. Hello, guys. <laughs> There's Natalie. I'm a All great right. painter. So, you start on that end. I'm going to start on this end. That's a lid. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to let you all color the rest on your own. Keep going, Nina. Can I have that one? Yeah. Okay. Our pinks are not exactly the same, are they? Yeah. Get that Mine curly tail. Oh man, I love a curly piggy tail. So cute. Hi Natalie, thank you for helping. Awesome. Perfect. That looks really good. Get in that little face. Try not to go around top of the black because it'll smudge up. I kind you could go on top of the black. But it will make the black a little more. Good. All right, so if you are in my class, you can definitely do this in your green book. If you're not, you can get any piece of paper that you have. And you can join in on this too. So this is our pig story and directed draw. Tomorrow we will be doing 
um, a pig's can have our chart and we also will be doing a pig's writing. So don't forget to come in, come back for that. All right. And also I will be coloring the pigs. Oh, Nina says she'll be coloring the pigs. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for talking to pigs. Oink, oink. Wow, your hair got...